Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 23rd of 2020. Well, it is titled Supernova in NGC 2525. So what do we see here? Well, we see an image of a great spiral galaxy. And it is known by the catalog designation of NGC 2525. Now this galaxy is 70 million light years away from us. So quite a distance. And we also see a number of stars around the galaxy. Now the stars for the most part are stars within our own Milky Way and are much closer and just happen to lie along the same line of sight to the galaxy. So one of these stars though however off to the left is a supernova and that is actually part of this galaxy. So it is actually there with the galaxy 70 million light years away. And two years ago in January of 2018, it was seen to explode. So it wasn't always there. But it appeared very bright in 2018. And then slowly faded off over the coming months. And in fact, there is a link in the description on the website to the time lapse that you can see to watch the star slowly fade. When a supernova occurs, it rapidly brightens. So it very quickly be reaches its brightness peak. And then it will slowly fade over several months. Now supernovae are important and especially this type of supernova which are classified as type 1a because they are used to measure distances to the galaxies. So how do we know how far away a galaxy is? Well one of the ways we can determine that is by looking at supernova explosions and when a type 1a happens to go off in a galaxy it allows us to determine the distance to that galaxy. And that's because these are what we call standard candles, meaning that they're all the same brightness. So when we see a type 1a supernova, we then know that it is reaching a certain brightness. And by how bright it appears in the sky, then we can figure out how far away it is. So when we know how bright something truly is, we can use that to determine its distance. If we just look out at the stars randomly, we can't tell distances by how bright they are. Because a star could be very bright but far away, or it could be a relatively faint star that only looks bright because it is close to us. However, when they're all the same distance, it makes it much easier and allows us then to be able to determine distances to these uh, galaxies. The difficulty with it is that we can never predict when a supernova will go off in a given galaxy. So we have to wait until that supernova happens to go off. And in this case, the supernova occurred actually 70 million years ago. Because of the distance to the galaxy, it has taken light from that supernova 70 million years to travel the distance from NGC 2525 to our Milky Way and to reach us in 2018. So other supernovae may have gone off in this galaxy since then. However, we still need to wait. If one went off 50 million years ago in this galaxy, we still have 20 million years to wait as that light is still traveling towards us. So we have to wait and to use this distance determination until we actually get to see these supernova in, in, in any given galaxy. So that was our picture of the day for October the 23rd of 2020. It was titled Supernova in NGC 2525. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.